Most of us were told through McDonald's, Ray Kroc created modern franchising. Not only is that not true, he was beat to the punch by a woman from Rochester decades prior, Martha Matilda Harper. And the woman who wrote Harper's biography recently sat down with me to tell me this blow your mind story. Jane Plitt was putting together a history gallery on Rochester's Powers Building when... One of the artifacts that was shared was a little clipping that said the first um, beauty salon in Rochester was created by Martha Matilda Harper. Plitt was intrigued. That curiosity took her to the Library of Congress, where she found an obituary. Two columns about Martha Matilda Harper. And in it, it talks about her with this worldwide empire, um, with franchising as the pioneer, Susan B. Anthony and British royalty all being her customers. Yeah, Harper's first beauty shop in the Powers Building was so popular, people used to pay for the right to use her name and blueprint, and modern franchising was born. Plitt believes she was so successful, partly because as a girl growing up in Canada and as a young woman in Rochester, Harper was a servant, an indentured servant, until she was 25. If you are a servant for that long, you really know how to please people. And you understand that that's your job. So when she goes into this new business of opening a beauty salon for women, number one, was I have to delight the customer. Walk down East Main Street today and you'll see Harper's name on what used to be her headquarters. Walk into a library though and the only book you'll find on Harper is Plitz. And what does it say that someone so revolutionary with such a tremendous story didn't have a lot of literature about her? What it says is that history is written by those in power. 500 stores across the world. Incredible. Plitt, who's from Rochester herself, was in town to shoot a documentary on Harper. Germany and France's PBS equivalent caught wind of Plitt's book and decided their viewers needed to hear the story of Martha Matilda Harper. And you can watch my full interview with Plitt over at rochesterfirst.com.